<laughs> yeah. Did did you get any access to uh, any types of trainers early on, like that were teaching resistance bands or working shoulders, or or when did that stuff kind of become a part of everything? No. So like in well, let's say I would say my my freshman year in college, uh, played at a JUCO here locally in St. Louis, and uh, we did what they called jobs, right? So it was like two pound, three pound weights, and you did you know some these guys some arm raises sure all your rotator cuff inside all your rotator stuff work you know workouts um then they inter- implemented like some you know some gym workout type things as well um but outside of that we didn't really use a whole lot of band stuff did you guys use a whole lot of bands well i got pretty lucky we had uh, a guy named brett winchester where I, I think he's done some stuff with the cardinals and he travels all over now kind of teaching different formats of chiropractic and they call it art where it's like massage therapy Mm -hmm. slash whatever. And, uh, you know, we had access to him at a super young age. He came back after doing all of his schooling stuff, uh, and then was giving free classes. So we were doing tons of upper level mobility work for your hips and shoulders, doing all kinds of fundamental things for rotator cuffs, um, trying to stabilize your labrum and, you know, make sure you weren't going to get hurt. But, I was doing a lot of what I do now for K-Bands training. Shoot, I was in middle school, I think, when he started doing those. We'd go two days a week. I think he offered free sessions or training sessions and whatnot. So uh, a lot of that stuff was a big part of everything and probably why my arm held together throwing as much as I was, you know. Right. Yeah, so you had the different experience, right, where, like, you all, you started playing baseball when you were really little and, you know, played throughout college, right? Yeah, I, I almost got addicted to the training as much as I got addicted to baseball. I was right. all along, all the way through it. It was working out on top of um, that. I mean, I was kind of an overweight kid, so I got introduced to the whole fat loss thing and trying to eat right at a pretty early age, too, because let's be honest, getting made fun of is not that much fun. So I yeah. had to figure that one out right away. You know, I'm like, <laughs> hey, this is for the birds. I got to get rid of this. So. <laughs> I kind of had always been doing a ton of research and learning how to just achieve the goal that I wanted to achieve, you know, and learning those things from that guy. I got addicted to training just as much as I did anything else because, you know, I feel like if you go to a chiropractor or you go to someone that's doing rehabilitation stuff on you, there is no way you are not all in if they fix something. Oh, 100%. If you have a chronic deal going on that you're miserable and someone literally, you know, takes you through some kind of a rehabilitation protocol or you get going on their schedule and working out and they fix it. Hey, I'm on board. Whatever you want to talk about, I'm on board. You know, yeah. you, you know what you're again. talking about. I want to do more of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and absolutely. So I was introduced to that probably in, in middle school. And uh, I remember when I was first starting K-Bands training, um, I went to him with the K bands and some of the other products. And it was cool. I hadn't seen him in several years and I, I kind of went through them with the, the product lineup that we were going to release. And, sure. you know, what do you think about these things? Do you think that, um, you know, they're as applicable or, or are they going to work just as well as what I'm seeing? You know, I was training a whole bunch of athletes at the time and I'm seeing great results. And he kind of walked me through the biomechanics and the elements of it that, were insanely targeted with wearing the bands and it was just a really cool experience. I haven't talked to him in probably a couple of years now, but, uh, I'd like to get back with that guy. He's, he's a really, really knowledgeable dude. Yeah. I mean, that would be great for you guys, you know, to kind of talk about, you know, different things with the bands and how they can be implemented and hell, there may even be some more things out there now that, Oh yeah. You could create something else for, you know what I mean? So that's something else to think about. Yeah, I might have to get him on the podcast, you know, ask him some questions. Hey, I've got well. all kinds of good questions for him. He'd be a heck of a <laughs> guest. I know if I was a youth athlete and, and you had access to that kind of content, I mean, I can't tell you that. That's where I started K-Bands training. That was what it was all about. You know, when I was growing up, if someone would have just told me exactly what to do to throw harder, I would have done anything they said. And Absolutely. Uh, I would have done every rep. I would have done every set. I would have slept as much as you told me to sleep. I would have done everything imaginable. And, you know, so I just started posting video after video after video and then just trying to teach little kids on how to get better. You know, there's yeah. nothing worse than not having the tools, you know? Right. Now, did you have any kind of like pitching instruction or like hitting instruction growing up as well? 
You know, I kind of had like a odd experience. I, I remember I was uh, in like Corey or City League stuff, and we beat the number one, you know, champion team or whatever. And I pitched that game, and I think I gave up like a one or a two hitter. And from then on, that team recruited me and wanted me to be on their select league. Obviously. So I went on their team, and again, my personality type is tell me what to do, and I will do exactly that. And it might have been to my own demise for an awful lot of my journey because. If you told me to raise my arm slot up a little bit, I would move it up three inches and I would watch film and I would throw from that arm slot over and over and over and over until I had it down. And to be quite honest, my arm slot is lower. And it might have been all the way until college until I realized the natural abilities is a big part of sports. And you Absolutely. can do all the tweaking and form, all the tweaking and technique that you want. But there's just this little bit of a – if you ever see that movie where he's like the Carlness, you know what I'm talking about? The, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you got the Carlness, you know, and what, yeah. what in essence what he's talking about is you got that something special. Right. But as I've gone on through sports and athletics, it's like these coaches these days, I feel like your job is not to critique everyone's form and make them fit in one box. You have no. got to take every little athlete and realize what they're good at and make them the best at what they're good at. Because I think for several years, me throwing in a, a three inch higher arm slot was to my detriment. I lost a lot of movement in the ball. Uh, I had a hard time throwing a breaking ball from that angle. Um,